I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. I think I am a nice person. People that know me like me. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. Is that I messed up. I accidentally deleted the original video to this, and it was supposed to re be released a day ago. I'm sorry. So this is probably getting released tonight. Tomorrow's the start of the school year. So before we start the story time, I just want to say, pray for me, please. Please. I am going to have to go back to school tomorrow. God help me. Help me. Because <laughs> I showed the list to my friend. And he said he's only heard of one of the teachers I got. And it was for very bad reasons. I'm screwed. Pray for me, please. Please. If I never make a video again, assume I died. Assume that I died. So, yeah. Pray for me, please. <laughs> I suck at fake. I suck at fake. But without further ado, let's talk about something happy. And that is the time I met Thaddeus Young. And just so you guys know, I am going to buy a Pacers jersey. And I already have two Victor Oladipo like, t-shirt jerseys, one all-star and then one regular. I already got a Miles Turner jersey that's Adidas. What new Nike jersey should I get? You can pick anybody on the team. And most likely, most of you will pick Thaddeus Young by the end of this. And you can pick Thaddeus Young, Darren Carlson, when the new Tyreek Evans, Doug McDermott, and the Twitter god Kyle O'Quinn jerseys come out. You can pick them. You can pick DeMontis Sabonis. You can pick Boyan Bogdanovich who's actually my mom's favorite player. You can pick, who else? Why am I forgetting this? Al Jefferson, because I'm pretty sure he's still on the team. Aaron Holiday, TJ Leaf, Ike Anabogu, Edmund Summer. Uh, who's the guy that we drafted in the second round again? It might have been. You can pick that guy, I, I forgot his name. At least I named a lot of the players. Right? I'm not no bandwagon. You can pick Joe Young. You can pick any of them. Most of all, if you had to know my top three, I would probably want Thaddeus Young. Boyan. Probably my top five. Thaddeus Young. Boyan. Uh, Darren Carlson. Devonta Sabonis and probably Tyreek Evans or oh wait no Aaron Holiday because he's a beast. So yeah, those would be mine. So most likely it's not it's just because you guys vote on it and it might get the uh, like say yeah, Darren Collison gets most votes. That doesn't mean necessarily that I'm going to buy that one. It just gives me the knowledge of what player you guys want me to get the jersey of. Also, if you don't know any of those players, go search them up. They all have unique. They're all unique in their own way. They all have different backstories. They all have different life stuff. I. People like Aaron Holiday's really young. People like Daddy is selling it already has a freaking family. So, yeah. The time I met Thad Young. 
fun fact about Thaddeus Young, he was actually drafted by the 76ers, and I have his rookie card, so. I got his rookie card uh, before this story happened. Um, so I went to the March 25th uh, Miami Heat versus Pacers game, and if, as you guys know, that game went into overtime, and Thaddeus Young had a triple-double, 22 points, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. He, had a, he also had, like, three, he also had, like, four blocks and three steals. So he had a really, really, really good game that night. That night, he signed my Pacers hat. The one in my profile picture on my Instagram and in the background, I believe, of my on this channel. So, uh, I know somebody, my dad knows somebody who works for the broadcasting studio, who helps broadcast uh, the stuff for the Pacers. And we asked him, when to get autographs when you don't have front row seats. He said, before the game, go down to the front row seats and players will come over there and they will get, you can get autographs there. So I go there, I'm waiting. And see, so, so we had three people on line. He had, um, he, there was Derek Halston and then Thaddeus Young. And I think uh, Joe Young was also with them. Thaddeus Young starts walking up to us, and then, uh, people, and then people start getting in line. I'm like, oop, I get in line. People try to cut in front of me, and I'm like, nah. My spot. Been a Pacer fan for all my life. My spot. My autograph. So I'm walking down. I know basketball players, especially power forwards, are really tall. But still, he looked huge. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Plus, I'm not that tall. So that added to the factor. But it was just awesome getting his autograph. Because while he may not be a star, the dude is one of the best two-way players in the league. He is a lockdown defender. He can hit three-point jumpers from anywhere. He's a really good two-way player. He's like a taller Clay Thompson, and he's not white like Clay Thompson. So, like I said, I watched the game. I'm there. I'm cheering. I, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I, you guys also know I Snapchatted that hat. I was, I'm really proud of that hat, and I'm taking it to the next place. I'm going to I'm going to and getting it signed again. So... Hopefully by a different player. So. Uh, then after that, I post a picture on Instagram. Uh, about it. And just so you guys know, that night was amazing. Uh, I got a voucher for some free Pacer socks, which may not seem like much, but me being the biggest Pacer fan, there's a, something that I do during, like, an intense game against, like, LeBron or something where I go all pacer. And what all pacer means, I get my Miles Turner jersey on. I get my Victor Oladipo jerseys on. I get my uh, Jordan 32s on because those are the shoes Victor wears. And I get pacer socks on. And I already have a pair of pacer socks. Also, shout out to Braddock. He actually got me my first pair of Pacer socks, like that were official that the players actually wore. And he gave the hat that got signed. He gave me that. So shout out to you, you the real MVP. And all I need are some like short socks. So now I can put two socks on when I go Super Pacer. So yeah, so that was awesome. It was Boomer's birthday as well, so we got to see. Like, all, we got to, there was the mascot of the D-League, the Mad Ants for the Pacers. You had Boomer, of course. We had the Trailblazers, the Hornets mascot, the Mavericks mascot, the Magic mascot. I think that was it. Oh, yeah, and we had the Fevers mascot, and they're the WNBA affiliation with the Pacers. So, 
we get there they have posters and we get autographs from all of them and i'm like cool i also they're giving out victor oladipo posters for free as soon as we walk up and i'm like oh sweet so now i i have a victor oladipo poster and also i have this huge like five foot poster of vic and tj leaf standing together in like cowboy hats because they gave that away too and i was like yes so i got like three posters that day i got a pop socket from and some beads because they have these like free spin to win things all across the stadium and i went to some of them i got a pop socket i got beads it was awesome i loved it so yeah and i post that picture on instagram so a couple days later i you know and i at him and i tag him and he comments on my Instagram post, and if you don't believe me, go on over to my Instagram, what Luke vlogs, and you'll see it. You can go to the post with the hat. It, it tags him. It out. It adds him, and he comments on that. And I'm like, he remembers me. He remembers your boy. He remembers me, your boy, the man with only freaking. Eight, nine, I think I only had like 70 followers back then. Now I have 82, so it's not that big of an improvement. But I only had like 77 followers back then, and that had like a million. And I was like, holy crap. He probably looks at all his mentions and never, ever, ever looks. Like, he probably never, ever responds. Like, name one time that somebody on the starting lineup... From a team or anybody from a team commented on your, a post that you did adding them and tagging them in a post but bet, bet you lebron never did it to somebody who he didn't even know but bet kobe didn't only to people with probably like a thousand plus followers or that i know of so you can comment down below if that's ever actually happened to you. But I was like, this is what happens when you're a Pacers fan since you come out of that as soon as you come out of the womb. Seriously, my when I went to my first Pacers game, I wasn't even a year old. I've been a Pacers fan. My parents have always lived in Indiana. The only other fan, the only other team that I've really been a fan of is the Pistons because uh, my dad's from Detroit. So, and just so you know, if you want to know the other teams I'm a fan of, for football, of course, I'm the Colts, but all my friends are fans of a different team because they're bandwagons and I'm the only loyal person. I know, Henry, you get mad at me for calling you a bandwagon, but as soon as the Colts get good again, you're going to go back to them saying, oh, yay, I'm a Colts fan again. You know you will. Sorry to admit it, but you have to admit it. For baseball, I am a Detroit Tigers fan because I like the Indians, but they're only a AAA team. So I have to have an MLB a team to root for, and that's the Tigers. I love the Tigers with my heart and soul. Sad that their last championship was in 1984. But hey, trust the process in Detroit. And uh, for hockey, I am a Detroit um, Red Wings fan. Now my mom is from Ohio. But the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets were not a team by the time my mom became, became a fan of hockey. So the closest team was the Detroit Red Wings. And she picked them when she was young. She didn't necessarily, she just picked the team that was closest. She didn't necessarily know that they were a part of the original six and were one of the best hockey franchises ever. Henrik Zetter, Zetter I mean, um... Steve Eisenman is the GOAT. So, you can have your Sidney Crosby's. Your. Crap, I, for, I forgot his name. I forget his name, but he's a puck hog. Um, 
We have them, but we got Steve Eiserman. So, yeah. And I, I wasn't born yet when, I don't think, when did the Avalanche and the, uh, when did the Avalanche and the Red Wings have their feud again? I don't, I don't remember, but I watched, uh, the SB Nations video on it, it's really cool. Except for the death threats, and, see, hockey's a crazy sport. Their bus had to be escorted by police, not because of crazy fans, because of death threats. Detroit's always getting into fights. Mouse at the palace. I'm sure the Tigers have gotten into f um, dugout emptying fights. Colts, uh, there's always a fight because you're always tackling somebody. And Red Wings go against the Avalanche. At least the Avalanche are one of my favorite teams because with Detroit in basketball, they did that to the Pacers. But, hey, um, let's see, so yeah, I'm a fan of teams that either my parents root for or the local, like, I like the Fuel and the Indians, but they're not Major League, so, once, if they become Major League, yeah, I'll probably, they'll be, like, my second favorite team, like, once the Blue Jackets became a team, they were my mom's, like, immediate second favorite team. Why the reason Red Wings are in first is because they were her pick. So, yeah. I don't see how I would be a bandwagon for hockey, especially because, you know, the Red Wings suck now. And we're not going to be like the Lakers and sign the LeBron of our sport. But, like... I don't get why team, like, I like that the Red Wings are waiting their time. I like how they're waiting for their draft picks to become good. I like that. I don't like teams that are like, we've been sucky, but our fans are still very loyal. So let's sign LeBron. Like, I get it, Lakers, you're trying to win, but can't you just give other teams a chance? Whatever, this isn't supposed to be talking about that. So yeah, that he's young. I met him. Awesome. Amazing. Thad, you the man. If you're watching this because your name was in the title, um, the reason you're not in the thumbnail, I couldn't... The app that I use for thumbnails, Zedge, I couldn't find a picture of you on there. So. I don't know. But, um, Dad, if, if you, again, if you're watching this, thanks for commenting on my Snap, I mean, on my Instagram and signing my hat. It may be something you would do every day, the signing part, I don't know about commenting, but it still meant a lot to me, because I've been a fan for a very, I've been a fan for over a decade, I can tell you that much. I'm sad I didn't get to see Reggie play. Crap, I just gave away my birthday, probably. Well, now you guys know I was born after 2004. Well. Whatever. It's not like bad things are gonna happen. Because you partially know my age. Uh, I'll probably tell you on my next birthday how old I am. Yeah, but, man, this has just been one sports rant, talking, thing. Sorry, I get carried away. I love sports and video games. Not a big fan of school, but I still get decent grades. Yeah. Also, go check out my Alter Egos channel, What Up Reactions. And if you are new, subscribe to mine. But also, after you're done subscribing to me, go subscribe to him because he posts daily. He posts on the daily. Mine, it's only like three times a week, probably, because he's using my phone for his videos daily, so I don't get that much time. So. 
I will see you guys hopefully next time. Goodbye! <laughs>